there alligators the patron sponsored august giveaway finally arrived and you've probably heard of it before it is the movie unplanned however i did pre-order it so it is a signed edition by abby johnson who the video is all about the true story that it's based upon I had actually pre-ordered two copies so that I could keep a copy for myself to be able to see it since Evelyn was so young when it was in theaters. And so I was able to watch it today and am excited to give you my honest review of what I thought of the movie. Hence alligators. The sun is so bright today. It is so nice, but it is very, very bright. I'm sorry if it's distracting at all through the whole video. <laughs> the light of God is beaming upon me. Ah. Just kidding. So Unplanned was pretty good. I had heard from a lot of people that it was just a have to watch movie, you know, just so dramatic. Everything about it was so good. And I do think that the purpose that it intended to share was very good. I think that it painted the picture of what Planned Parenthood is truly all about. It was very accurately depicted in it. However, the one thing that it did that I really actually don't care for in movies is it did a lot of time hops. So it started at the really dramatic turning point of Abby's life where she witnessed the abortion happening in the ultrasound, on the ultrasound and then it flashed back to eight years ago and then it got into the storyline and then she was like oh but before we get here let me tell you this and then it went two years ago and then it went four years in the future and so it did this kind of having to catch up go back and a lot of this back and forth i don't know if you ever saw the lake house with sandra bullock and uh, keanu reeves but it was sort of like that where it just was you were trying to kind of catch up with the timeline and then something would happen where you're like oh well this is where they are now and so that aspect of it, I didn't really care for. I thought that the experience that Abby had in the abortion clinic that was truly her turning point um, was a very climactic um, experience. Like I feel like it was kind of the point of the movie. And for them to lead with that, I felt like maybe it could have been built up to a little bit better. Um, or maybe, you know, like waiting until what happened. I don't know. I will say, the Holy Spirit was clearly involved in the making of this movie. And so I trust that the hearts that it is geared toward, like the people that it's meant to truly impact the most, it's set up in the way that they need to see. Because for me, I'm already pro-life. I already understood like Planned Parenthood. I've listened to Abby's talks. I've, I've heard her experiences already. And so for me, like it, it was educational and just very dramatic. Like I almost cried three different times. And it is a very powerful movie. And so I won't, I don't want to negate that. However, I would just say how I prefer to watch movies like dramas. I prefer sequential movies. And this one just did a little bit of that jumping around. You might not mind it as much. I remember when I read um, Girl on a Train. I never saw the movie, but I read the book. I remember re when I read that too, it was a similar type of deal where it was like, now we're here and then we're going a week ago and then we're five weeks in advance and then we're two months ago and then we're a year ahead and just a lot of that jumping around. So Unplanned wasn't that bad. Like it was still followable, but there were definitely moments where it was like, oh, now, now I get it. Like we're here now. And then, so it all lined up, but, um, other than that though, my other small piece of feedback on it would have been that there were aspects that I think that, you know, like I said, I believe it was guided by the Holy Spirit, the pieces of Abby's story that they included um, in part of it. So Abby's story is right. She got two abortions and then she became, you know, she worked at Planned Parenthood, all of these things. And so eventually in the movie, they show her checking out her file and she wanted to see her baby. So she opened it up and she sees an ultrasound picture of her child. You know, I think she was eight weeks along for that one. And, um, but the truth was, was when Abby was working at Planned Parenthood initially, Planned Parenthood wasn't using ultrasounds at all. They basically went in blind and stuck the tube in there to suction everything out and they would perforate uteruses and and all these terrible things would happen and a doctor the doctor that was you know that ended up asking Abby to help in an ultrasound abortion procedure 
he had actually invited her so that she could have an educational experience, that it would be good for her to see it. And then she went back and was like, well, yeah, this makes way more sense that, you know, you'd need an ultrasound. And so she was waiting for the day to come that she would be invited in to witness an, an, a procedure with the ultrasound. But in the movie, Planned Parenthood always had ultrasounds. When, when Abby confronted the clinic director at the time about why don't they have ultrasounds, the clinic director said that it took too much time because an ultrasound, if you were to do an ultrasound with every abortion procedure, it adds three minutes per procedure. And Planned Parenthood's whole goal was to have the woman on and off the table five minutes abortion done. And so to add three minutes to each procedure would just be totally outlandish because it, it would just take too much time. They couldn't do as many abortions as they wanted to do to make as much money as they could by adding ultrasound. So I thought that that was a pretty important part of Abby's testimony that was left out of the movie, um, which I was a little disappointed to see, but at the same time, as I keep saying, like, I'm not God, right? Like, the Holy Spirit, I truly believe, was a part of influencing the format of this movie, the information that they included in the movie, and how they went about all of that. Um, I think that it probably added to the dramatic effect of her abortion, that she was able to like open her folder and see an ultrasound of the baby with as far along as she was. Um, but I think that there would have been an element for Planned Parenthood at that point too where they weren't having the ultrasounds. So that said, very good movie. I would highly recommend like gifting it to somebody that might be pro-choice or kind of on the fence like, oh, well, I'm pro-life, but anyone else could have an abortion. Like, I wouldn't have an abortion, but if somebody else chooses to, they could. Um, I think this is a very good movie for them to understand what Planned Parenthood's true mission is. And the good news is, is that the version, if you win the giveaway, it is already unwrapped because Abby had signed it. And so you could watch it and then gift it to somebody if you haven't seen it yet. Um, or, you know, just check out the website that Abby has, the And Then There Were None, um, which is her And Then There Were None abortion clinic workers. That is her uh, company that she's founded and the mission that she's truly founded. And so with the DVD. So so to enter this giveaway, you just go to patreon.com, my my Patreon. It's in the link below. I might be able to link it up top as well. Um, but you go to Patreon and you just like the post that talks about the August giveaway. The winner's probably going to be drawn on like September 5th, I think. It's a Wednesday, next week Wednesday, so a week from now. And, um, and so we'll go that route because we're going to be out of town this weekend for Labor Day. But in addition to the DVD, you are going to get a pamphlet that's all about and then there were none and that's going to go through what the mission is an option to give a donation to that if you so choose that's going to be included um, an overall synopsis of what unplanned is about this little flyer was with us as well a little uh, phone number business card that says no one grows up wanting to work in an abortion clinic you we can get you out and it's abortionworker.com this is another, you know, Abby, basically her goal is if we don't have abortion workers, if we don't have the women working at the clinics, if we don't have the doctors performing abortions, abortions cannot happen. And so really we can, we can work with women on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but ultimately if we talk to those that are administering the procedure, that is how we are going to be moving forward. That's who we're praying for. That's what Abby's mission has been ever since she saw the truth about the terrible of abortion so so that business card is with it um, there is a no before you go which is another pamphlet that you can give to a woman who might be considering abortion um, and it's what you don't know could hurt you and just a bunch of different like empowerment there's another phone number on here different things that you can like tools right we we have to fill our toolbox so if we encounter somebody we can say here this is something you know you talk about like Rachel's project that's the, that's the place that women who have had an abortion can go to heal from the trauma that they may be experiencing in their heart. And so, so these different pieces of the toolbox, like if you encounter someone, what can you say? How can we educate ourselves to be able to speak to them effectively with love and understanding, but still be able to support them in like what's truly good for them and help them understand that in a way that doesn't make them feel judged or condemned. 
Um, so, so that's there as well. And then finally, which we are going to pray together here really quick as we wrap up, is there is a prayer card for the prayer of the conversion of abortion clinic workers. So all of these things came with a DVD that I ordered. I don't know if it comes, if you order it now via Amazon, if all of these things come, but I know I pre-ordered, so we got these all included. Um, but you will get this prayer card as well. And, um, and you know, you can put it on your mirror at home and pray it every morning or whatever you choose to do with that. And, um, but yeah, but that's the, that's the goal. So, uh, so yeah, so you'll just head over to Patreon then to enter the giveaway, like the post that talks about the August giveaway. Uh, the winner will be drawn next week, Wednesday, and we will go from there. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, based on his redemptive work at Calvary. I pray for undecided workers. My prayer is that they will see your goodness in someone since it is your goodness that draws us to repentance. I pray that you would send a witness to them to proclaim that you can help in their troubles and that you will rescue them from despair. I have faith that as I pray for these workers that it will lead to their deliverance and salvation. I pray for hope to rise up inside of them which will lead to faith. Lord have mercy on them and feel their pain. Give them eyes to see and ears to hear the words that you have put in the mouths of your witness. I pray that their eyes are opened to the sanctity of life and that you draw them out. Give them courage today, Lord, to make their decision to leave the abortion industry. Father, you alone know the hearts of these workers and you alone can rescue them. Deliver them from evil and into the arms of Jesus. I pray all of these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And there is an option here for additional free copies. That There's a phone number to call. I'll put that in the link below as well. So if anybody wants a copy of this prayer card, you can call. His name is John Machal. It's a lot of letters. But I'll put that in the little description below, and then you can give him a call if you would like copies of this as well. God bless you all. Thanks for tuning in today. I do hope that you get a chance to see Unplanned. It is a very effective film. Um, I do believe, you know, God is working, God is moving, Planned Parenthood, I mean, it's already been defunded recently, right? They opted out of the government funding of the $60 million. Um, things are moving pro-life. Heartbeat bills are getting passed around the country. It's just, it's amazing how powerful prayer is. And standing, like, standing for what you believe in, know that you're not alone. Know that we are all in this together. And, yeah, you're not alone. Know that. God bless. We got a little baby gator to say goodbye to you today. So until next time, we'll see you later, alligator. Ah.